Hi, and welcome to this short movie where we're going to take a look at the Report Writer module in your Uniform program. Report Writer is a really, really handy module when you get uh, the need to create a user-defined report. So we had a call on the help desk yesterday where the customer was very, very specific. He wanted a list of cows that were due to calve in the next 21 days. They all had to be pregnant with twins and they all had to have a specific locomotion score. So there were kind of three criteria that these cows all had to meet. So report writer was the, was the perfect solution uh, for this question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through, um, I'm going to go slowly through it and just hopefully give you an idea of the flexibility of the report writer and the many uses that it has. So where do we find it? We go to the cow's head, we go to number five herd, and then number three, the report writer. Once you create a report, you can then use it again and again. So it's kind of, you know, the hard work is always the first time. So you have a list of reports here that we've already created. But this one was, was really specific, so I had to create a new report. So I left click on the plus key, and this then brings up the wizard that enables us to select the items, select the criteria, and then create and save this report. So first of all, on the left-hand side, we have our categories. And here, you have the data items that are available in each category. So what we're seeing in this column available is everything that is under general animal data. You'll see if I click on reproduction, we then get fertility events. If I look at last completed lactation, we only get obviously those figures. So I'm going to go back to general animal data because I need to start the report obviously with the animal number. You'll see there's a, a one arrow and then a two arrows. If I click the two, it just moves everything across that's in that category. So generally, you'll just be hitting this arrow here. And obviously, if you put something in that you don't want, you can then send it back like that. So cow number, yes, we want that. Reproduction, we want the last calving date. Uh, I want lactation number. I want days in milk. And I want the expected calving date because that was one of the first criteria. It said only pull out cows that are due to calve within the next 21 days. And this was so that he could give the cows a, a bonus. So that's the first bit we've got in, that's fine. But then we need to enter the health reporting because he said that he wanted cows that only had twins. So if I scroll down to here and I go down to health reporting, again, we'll see here we've got the criteria. And it was a specific health code that he's used. So he uses a health code to alert him to the fact that the cow has twins. So if I hit that, you'll see it brings across the disease date and then a health event. And on the health event, we're going to select cows, obviously, that, that have twins. But he also wanted uh, locomotion scores. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to take the last locomotion score. And here we have the information. If I want to just change it slightly, I'm not say I'm not quite happy with the order that it's in. You see here, I click on days in milk. Now, if I click this arrow, it then moves it up. So now I get animal number, last calving date, days in milk, current lactation number. Just one thing I always put into reports, I nearly always put the status in. Not so important on this report, but it just, yeah, just helps me see exactly what the status of the cow is. So what I'm gonna do there is just, Again, move that one to there, so that's fine. So, so far so good. I've created the headings that I want, and what we can see is that we have 1,131 cows that we can actually report on. So the next bit, this is where we're gonna filter it. This is where we're gonna change it. Because we want to set it that the cows that we're gonna pull out match the three criteria that he wants. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the plus, plus key, I'm going to go down to the health event. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull out cows that had twins. So I select health, because that's the one that I want. OK, and you'll see now it creates this new, new item. So this looks complicated, but it's really not. Um, 
I think it's fairly straightforward. What I'm saying here is the health event that I want to pull out is any cow where I've entered that she had twins. And you'll see that you have options. I could say, uh, give me every cow that hasn't got twins. Uh, but in this case, obviously, that's, that's what we're looking for. So is equal to, and you'll see at the moment, zero cows in the reports. And here are all my health conditions. So I'm just going to go down and I'm going to find uh, cows that have got twins. So here we go. Fine. So that gives me 13 cows. But as I said, he was very specific. He also wanted this ad additional information. So the next one we're going to pull out is going to be the locomotion scores. So if we go down to, that's going to be under condition. And last locomotion score, I select that. And I'm going to say that is equal or higher than two. So I'll put the value in. Okay, so you see now we've dropped down to nine cows. What you can do is you can set it so that I'm using this data field here, which is and, but this can also be used to or as well. So on the example that I'm giving you, the cows that we're going to pull out have to meet these three criteria, but we can also use it to say or. So it could be, um, and she's got twins, or it could be she's greater than a fifth lactation. So that, that's another way that we can really use the flexibility. But we'll stick to what we're doing in this report. So we're getting there. Okay, the last one that we want is going to be cows that are due to calve within a specific period. So now I go to reproduction. There's my expected calving date. Select that. And what we're going to say here is less than or equal to, I think that's the best way to do it, or less than X days ahead. That's probably a better way to do it, actually. So all cows that are due to calve in the next 21 days. So that now brings us down to four cows. We go to next. Okay. Bonus due. We give it a give it a name because what this means is that I can run the same report in a week's time, two weeks' time, a month's time, six months' time. So we go to next. Obviously, I'm only looking at cows. I'm looking at cows that have calved. I'm not interested in my young stock. I'm only interested in cows on the farm. But this shows the flexibility of report writing. We can pull out information on young stock. We can pull out information, for example, on on beef cows or whatever beef bulls. We can also pull out historical information as well. So that's important if you want to go back and look at specific things. So I'm going to go to next. I'm not worried about um, I'm sorting on this one. It's just a report. And there we go. So this is a 600 cow herd. Um, initially, when we started the report writer, it was looking at everything. And you can see now that we've, we've narrowed it down basically so that we just have these four cows that meet these criteria. The fact that they have twins, but they're within three weeks of calving, and they also have a specific mobility score of two or above. So that is the list that the farmer wants, and that's how easy it is to use Report Writer. Very logical, go through step by step. Um, the first time that you use it, absolutely give the help desk a call and, and we'll help you. But when you're just looking for that specific report that you can't quite find, I think this is a module that can, can hopefully really help you. So I hope you found that helpful.